Here's Bloodhound with Battlefield Nations, and the May preview update is finally here on the CTE. Along with the usual bug fixes, we also have some new weapons to play with. If you remember the seven new weapons that were data mined from the community test environment last week, it looks like one of them is finally making its way to the game. The Thompson Annihilator in a trench variant is here, but with a few tweaks. Instead of the original and outlandish 1,500 rounds per minute, the Annihilator in-game fires at 830 rounds per minute with a 20-round magazine. This is a drastic change from its in-real-life counterpart, but I think this was needed, as a 1500 RPM weapon would be absolutely insane to balance. To unlock the weapon in-game, you'll need to score 100 primary weapon kills as the Assault class, and score 25 secondary weapon kills as Assault. Along with the Thompson Annihilator, we have two new melee weapons as well, the Welsh Blade and the Sickle. The Welsh Blade is unlocked automatically on the CTE, so it might be given out to everyone when the patch releases, like previous melee weapons have. Unlike the Welsh Blade, the Sickle has to be unlocked, requiring 5 kills with the Welsh Blade. In addition to these new weapons, the new variants that we saw back in March are finally making its way to the May update. You'll be able to enjoy weapons like the Ribe Rolls Optical, the 1917 Enfield Silenced, and more when the update drops. That about wraps up all the content in this update, so now we're left with a few bug fixes. They're not too boring as they introduce some much needed changes. A minute change to the spectator mode on PC, the mouse now disappears after a short period of time of being inactive, so I'm sure any screenshotters and content creators out there will welcome this change as you don't need to worry about your mouse cursor being included in the shot. Some other changes like the mid-round team balancer moving players that exceed the team limit has been fixed. Frame rate spikes when deploying on Passchendaele has been improved, which is nice, considering that it was the only map in the game that would freeze a little during the spawning animation. Another change is the increased reload time of the HE cluster bombs on the Ilya Moromets heavy bomber, from the previous 3 seconds to 10 seconds, along with a slight tweak to the way the bomblets are deployed so the cluster bombs are spread out more evenly. This is probably the biggest change in this update as it's a slight nerf to the powerful heavy bomber that plagues the vanilla game right now. If you're interested in any of the other changes in this update, I'll leave a link in the description below to the patch notes. So that about wraps up today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure to share this video around and make sure to subscribe to my own channel for more Battlefield related content. Follow Battlefield Nations on all of our platforms, and as always, it's been Bloodhound, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.